Anytime you start thinking about flying, you should think about the weather as well. You should have a clear picture of the weather ahead and prepare for the possibility of alternative routes and contingency plans. These days, a wealth of weather information is available. It can start at home with the basic weather reports in newspapers and on radio and television. This can also include internet links of 3D satellite weather pictures. Much of the data in the meteorological network is reported in standardized code with acronyms like METARS, SIGMENTS and TAFs. Now finding the information on weather is one thing, understanding and interpreting what it all means is another. For example, METARs, defined as aviation routine weather reports, are filed by trained observers and through automated weather observation stations every hour on the hour. METARs contain information such as the current visibility, ceiling, temperature, altimeter readings and other existing conditions important to aviation such as wind shear, blowing snow or freezing rain. A phone call to the network of flight service stations can provide the details on METARs and related weather information. When you're at an airport that has a flight service station, it may be a good idea to take the occasion to drop in and meet the flight service specialists. They can provide you with a complete weather briefing on flight conditions for your intended route. They can also provide additional details a pilot may not have thought of, such as areas of frequent snow squalls. And a pilot is always welcome to check out the resources that they've got available, such as data, charts and various weather maps. So before you fly, take the time to get all the weather information. Study the route and consider alternative routes. Always plan for an out and have the resolve to use it early enough to avoid entering bad weather because it's up to you to know the weather to fly.